All right, in order to move on from the work we've been doing on the environmental stewardship quest, uh, I need students to catch up. And here's what that looks like. Okay, reminder, I've put out a couple of videos already letting you know that you can get much farther faster if you do your ed puzzle on your one parameter along with your water quality research notes. Do those two together. Now, if you've already done your ed puzzle, you might want to go back to it because the answers to the questions are part of the information you need for your water quality research notes. You're taking notes on your one parameter. So if you're responsible for dissolved oxygen, based on the list that I put on the parameters assignment. So right here on the task, you've got the document, open it up, see which one you are responsible for. That's the one you do your ed puzzle on, and that's the one you're going to take notes on for water quality research. Then when you're done with those and you get over here, you're going to graph your data. You're going to make two graphs, but watch all three videos. Okay, you're going to have two graphs, then you can start teach it because then you're going to create a way to share your knowledge of your one parameter with your cohort. And we might actually have you do it like we're doing the passion projects. You might actually uh, present it or share your video or whatever you create to the whole group. Uh, the goal is we need every sixth grader to learn about dissolved oxygen, stream temperature, pH turbidity, flow rate, and conductivity. Because if you know all of them, you'll be able to understand how Chimicum Creek is doing and why the fish are, are doing how they're doing. We got fish data. We've got fish counts. We need to know how our water quality is so we can tell how great or not it is for the fish. We want to know, how's Chimicum Creek doing? 